Hello all, welcome to part 19 of Test NG training series. In this session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate about meta groups in Test NG. What exactly are these meta groups? Meta groups are nothing but group of groups. Okay, we have created a lot of groups in the previous sessions. We have created a lot of groups like smoke group, regression group, sanity group, all group, login group register group, search group, and so on. But now, okay, we can also create meta groups, which is a collection of, or a list of, or a combination of one or more groups. Okay, I'll show you practically, guys. Okay, what exactly are these meta groups? You see, using the define tag in the destiny XML file, we can create a group of groups. Here you see smoke is one group sanity. You are combining the smoke and sanity into Another higher level group or group of groups known as daily build. You gave a name to the meta group here. Daily build is meta group. Similarly, for smoke and sanity and regression, three items are there. Weekly build you have given. Okay. Weekly build you have given. Like that and so on. Okay. Like that and so on. So, this kind of meta groups we can create in test and XML file. Okay. So, for this session to be easily understandable, we have to follow the previous two sessions, guys. Okay. First, you have to know how to group the test in test engine using multiple test engine XML files, and then you have to know how to group the test in test engine using groups attribute. Then you can understand the meta groups in a easiest way. Let me open the project, guys, in Eclipse IDE. And uh, here, login is there, register is there, search is there. You already know how the groups are mentioned using the groups attribute here. Smoke, sanity, regression, login, all. Like few things doesn't have. For example, here I'll remove the regression. Intentional, I'll remove the regression, guys. Only sanity I'll put. Okay. Here, sanity and regression I'll remove, okay? So just for the sake, I'm doing that, guys, okay? Just for the example, I'm doing this, okay? Uh, so here, yeah, this is fine, guys, this is fine. Let's see how it works. Now let's go to the testng.xml file, and these meta groups need to be created at the test tag level. At the suit level, it's not supported, guys. Meta groups are not supported at the suit level. So we have to go to the test tag level. For example, we'll go to the register test, one of the, uh, here restart.java. So I'll say groups here. Generally, guys, normal groups will create like this. Okay. Groups, groups. Uh, here inside this groups, we'll say run. And inside this run, we'll include the group name, single group name. It's a normal process, which we have already seen in the previous sessions. Name is equal name of the group that is smoke. If I give smoke here, what will happen? Only the smoke test will run from the register. And from the remaining, all the tests will run from login and all the tests will run from search. So here also groups are mentioned. I'll remove these groups, guys. Okay. So all the tests will run from the search now because I have not mentioned any groups here. Here also, all the tests will run from the login. That is five tests from login, uh, three tests from search. That is eight tests will run from login and search. But from register, only smoke tests will run. That you already know because of the groups concept here. Okay, only I'm including groups, smoke group to run from the register test. Okay, that is only uh, two tests will run mostly. Okay, run this, two tests from register and remaining five plus login and uh, three from search. Three from search, five from login, and only two from register, okay? Only smoke tests from register are coming. Even though there are four tests in register, only two tests are coming. That is because of the, we provided the include name as smoke. But here, I want to follow a different approach. Instead of, uh, instead of giving a normal group name here, I'll give a, I'll say define guys, okay? Define, using define tag, we can create meta groups, okay? Name is equal to, here I have to give the meta group name. Let's say smoke and smoke and uh, regression, I'll say, okay? Smoke and regression. Smoke and regression, and here I'll say include, name is equal to multiple groups I'll provide inside the defined tag, okay? Here I'll say smoke, smoke test you have to run. Along with the smoke test, you have to also run. Include, name, regression, right? Regression, okay? Regression test you want to run. So similarly, I'll create one another uh, meta group, another meta group. In, in this, I'll say smoke and sanity, guys. So smoke and sanity. Here, I'll say sanity here. Here, I'll say uh, a meta group can only contain one group also. It's not compulsory that uh, more than one group should be provided. Here, only one group I'll provide. All I'll provide. All the tests from the uh, register should run, okay? Here, I'll mention first smoke and regression. Smoke and regression meta group name. Instead of providing a normal group name here in the run, I'll provide smoke and regression here. Now run this guys, run this. Smoke and regression test will run. 
let's go to the register dot java once uh, and see smoke and regression this has smoke or it will run it has smoke it will run two tests then what smoke and regression i told you right so regression it has a regression it will run it has a regression it will run okay smoke smoke regression here i'll remove one regression from here guys okay i'll remove one regression so that we should have a different count smoke smoke here smoke is not there regression is not there this will not run here regression is there it will run so out of four three tests should run okay from register three tests from login all the five tests and from search all the three tests should run but from register out of four three should run because smoke and regression test only will run three tests from register you see only smoke and regression test has run now if i want to change the meta group name here go to the test and xml file instead of giving smoke and regression i'll give smoke and sanity take this meta group name here and uh, modify that here in the run tag now run this lightly run as test and suit smoke and sanity so you see four tests are running smoke and sanity let's see let's go to the register and smoke smoke your sanity is there here also sanity is there all the four tests are running that's the reason okay if i say all here if i give the meta group name as all all tests here all tests from the register will run all the four tests from register will run let's run this all the four tests from register will run you see all the four tests from register as running all the tests from login and all the tests from search this is called as meta groups guys just to simplify or conclude meta groups are created using the define tag under the groups tag okay you can create define tags and you can include multiple groups one or more than groups inside the define tags and provide that inside the run tag include statement that uh, meta group name to run the met, uh, combination of groups okay from that particular test you have to create this uh, meta groups meta groups will work only at the test tag level they will not work at the suit level so hope guys you understood what exactly the meta groups a group of groups okay which can be created at the test tag level in the test and xml file okay to run the combination of groups test from the combination of groups so that's all for this session in the next session i am going to cover another test and topic for you till then see you bye bye